Hi guys, it's Ben Heath from Lead Guru, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Facebook's campaign budget optimization feature. So previously budgets were always set at the ad set level, but Facebook have fairly recently introduced this campaign budget optimization feature, and it can work really well in certain circumstances. In fact, we use it for quite a lot of our clients, and I explain sort of how it works, and I'll go through why you might want to use it. So I've got an example campaign here, as you can see down here. I've called it example campaign. Now what you can see, in fact, all the campaigns I've got in my, my ad account, budget is zero because there's no budget set at the campaign level. But if I was to click into the campaign to go to the ad set level, I've just created a couple of um, example ad sets, example ad set, example ad set two, very uh, <laughs> creative names. But you can see that there's 20 pounds per day budget in each campaign. And what that means is that, it, sorry, in each ad set. And what that means is that each ad set I'll spend £20 a day. And normally the way we used to do this is you'd have one set of targeting in one ad set and another set of targeting another ad set. And you're testing between the two to see which audience works best, um, responds best to, to your ads and to your offers. Instead, if you set the budget at the campaign level, then you're basically saying to Facebook, I want you to optimize the budget between my ad sets. So let's say, for example, ad set two is really outperforming ad set one. It's delivering conversions for half the price. Well, Facebook will then will then spend more of the campaign budget in ad set two than they will in ad set one, which of course reduces your overall cost per conversion, improves the performance of your campaign. So it's a really, really useful feature. If you've got multiple different targeting options that you want to use, you don't know which one's going to work best and you don't want to have to be in your own ad account every day, sort of having a look at the data and making manual adjustments yourself. You can more, you can leave it up to Facebook more so. So that's why you might want to, to use this feature. As I said, we use it a lot of the time. So if you go into campaigns, the way you set this up, once you've got a campaign created, is you simply click edit at the campaign level budget optimization here, turn that on. It's automatically calculated that 40 pounds per day with my daily budget because it's added up what's in the ad set. If I was to select, get rid of that, and select, yeah, publish. Of course, you could change that amount if you wanted. And just give that a second to, uh, to load. And here we go, campaign budget is now on. Now the campaign bid strategy, which is just the same as what you could do um, at the ad set level, you know, you can go with lowest cost. I could do lowest cost and select uh, and, and add a specific bid cap. The bid caps are dependent on the ad set. So here we've got this campaign is set up to generate landing page views. I can decide what my bid cap wants to be at each landing page view. I've created another video on bid caps. If you want to know all about that, check out my uh, my YouTube channel. Don't get bogged down in this. It's all, all quite um, confusing. Most people are just going to want to go with lowest cost. Once you've set that up, you simply want to publish this campaign. This has already automatically been published, and then you're good to go. If you're debating on whether or not to, to use campaign budget optimization, ad set budget optimization, my, my question to you would be, how much are you in your own ad account? So if you're checking it daily, you're probably fine with ad set um, budget setting because you can make adjustments manually. The other thing is how many different targeting options are you using? Let's say you're using a lot of different targeting options. Um, you've got perhaps six, seven, eight different ad sets. If you're, if, if there's gonna be a relatively high amount of audience overlap in those ad sets, which there often is, you could be targeting, let's say people who are interested in Andy Murray, and also let's say people who are interested in tennis, if you were to sell tennis apparel or something, those two audiences are gonna overlap a lot. In that case, I would recommend using campaign uh, budget optimization, because I think that'll probably produce better results, allow Facebook to work out who within your total target market um, is most likely to buy, become a lead, whatever it is you're after, and you're going to get slightly better results that way. So very easy feature to use. Um, there's little downside in testing it. You could, of course, run this for a week, see what the results are, switch back to ad set, uh, budget optimization, run that for a week and compare the results. Absolutely fine. But um, but yeah, we're using this more and more, finding it a really useful feature for our clients. Now, just before you go, I want to quickly mention uh, my five-part Facebook ad template, which is a free download, something you can download right now for free. All you need to do is click on the link in the video description. That'll take you to my website. You'll be able to download it there. And in this Facebook ad template, I've included some of the best performing ads I've created for different clients in different industries. I think we've got a, an example for service-based businesses, e-commerce, um, 
online businesses, all sorts. So I've also broken down each ad and sort of explain what I've included in each one and why, why I've used that headline, why I've used that copy, why I've used that image. So if you're looking to, to get better results from your Facebook ads and improve your copy and creative in particular, go ahead and download that. You think it'd be very, very useful. As I said, just click on the link in the video description. It's completely free. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, remember to subscribe to the channel. Got any questions, then just pop them in the uh, comment section below and I will be sure to get to them. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.